This you will only see on Denver 7. Was it a team prank or was it an act of hazing? This alarming video from Chaparral High School in Parker. And when you look closely, the boy on the ground is blindfolded, told to do sit-ups, but when he comes up, he face plants into a bare bottom. Now, this all happened as the wrestling coach, who is also an MMA fader, uh, fighter, stood by and watched. And that coach tonight's out of a job, and parents have plenty to say about it. Denver 7's Mark Stewart is live at Chaparral High School in Parker. Mark? And Shannon, it's not just teenagers capturing video on their cell phones, so too are their parents. And tonight, a coach is off the job after a 22-second recording. Hold on, hold on. Break, 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 break. Parent Andrew Stubbs couldn't believe what he saw inside the wrestling room at Chaparral High School in Parker during his son's practice. Break, 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 break. A circle of wrestlers standing in a circle. One of his son's classmates is on the ground doing a sit-ups when Stubbs says he witnessed a case of hazing. During what he's doing, he had, one of the kids pulls his pants down and puts his butt right in the tra trajectory of where the kid's doing a sit-up. And the kid's blindfolded, but then they pull off the blindfold and his face goes through and makes contact with the kid's butt. But the concern doesn't end here. Standing in the formation, the team's coach. Rocky Johnson is also an MMA fighter. Now he's been fired. Parents and students are reacting. That shouldn't be going on in the schools, so it's probably good that he was let go, if it was caught on tape especially. Yeah, that's horrible. I don't think it's okay. What the coach calls a prank, Stubbs feels is hazing. And even though his son wasn't on the ground, he's still troubled. Wait till it happens to your kid, and then we'll change tunes. I mean, if that was your kid, what would you do? Tonight, the coach sent me a text message saying, yes, he could have used better judgment, but this whole thing is being blown out of proportion. We're live in Parker tonight. Mark Stewart, Denver 7. And the Douglas County School District released this statement. It says in part, this is very concerning, and the Douglas County School District does not tolerate inappropriate conduct, conduct by staff members. Upon learning of this incident, we immediately contacted law enforcement and began our own investigation.